Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to film a requested video for you guys. Um, sorry if the light keeps going in and out. When I have my screen on camera, it kind of like gets a little wonky, like over to the right and the left hand side over here. But the other day I had posted on Instagram my new kind of setup for my folders on here. So there was a few different requests to actually show the, like, the apps that are in my folder. First and foremost, I have an iPhone, is it 7 Plus? Um, I haven't upgraded in a few years. That's probably coming on pretty soon, but I will probably still be staying with the iPhone family. I do really like the Plus. Um, if you can see it in my hand, I really like the feel of it. Um, now, when I like hold like my mom's iPhone, which is like a regular iPhone, not the Plus version, I feel like it's so dinky and tiny, but I do really enjoy the Plus version, um, just the way it feels now. It felt really weird when I got it a while ago, but now I really, really like it. So the way I have my apps organized is now mostly by color, some are by type. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions as to to where I got my background screen. I just Googled iPhone background Fox, I think, and then I just looked at Google images and downloaded the one I wanted. So anyway, oh, and I'll show you, let's see, the front of my thing here. That's actually my real dog. And um, yeah, so anyway, that's uh, what's going on here. So I'm gonna show you the folders that are on this page. The other page is like a work thing, so it doesn't really pertain to anything. First, so first and foremost, on the top left-hand side, I have my messages. I was thinking about putting them somewhere else, but I use it so often that I just want to have that up here. Um, so same with all of these on the top row. So I have my messages, my clock, my contacts, and my maps. I use those all the time, and I don't really wanna go through a folder, if that makes sense. Um, over here, I have my YouTube, and then um, I also put in icons for what it is. I've had a few questions on how you do that, so if you just hold down, everything starts kind of like wiggling and jiggling. So if you go to, say, YouTube, you can move these around, like you can put one in front of the other. Whoops, I don't want to do that. Get back here. <laughs> See, I'm messing it up already. And then you can go into here and you can like delete things or add things or whatever. Normally it'll come up with text, but um, that's what I did. So yeah, this is my YouTube category. I use it all the time. And then this is my photography category. Um, the way that I, I've downloaded several different apps over the years and I'll tell you like which ones I use and which ones I don't use often. So I use my camera all the time. Afterlight I use all the time. Facetune I use once in a while. Fonto I use all the time. So Afterlight and Fonto are really how I create a thumbnail image for my YouTube channel. I do use Facetune every once in a while if I want to brighten something up or something looks kind of funky, but you know, these two are kind of my go-tos. Avery I use once in a while as well. That has some like frames and things like that in there. Uh, Polaroid Zip app. I, I have a Polaroid Zip, yeah guys, but to be honest, I don't use it. I haven't used it in years, but I still have it. So I figured I'd keep the app on my phone. Pick stitch I use once in a while. It's like a framing thing. Um, Square Ready, I haven't used in years. Warm Light, I haven't used in years. And some of these other ones, I actually use Eraser quite a bit. I should probably move that. Hold on, we're gonna move that over. We are gonna move that over to here. Perfect. Um, okay, so, and then Docked is like a document screenshot. Here's like a screenshotter. These other ones I don't use, or I haven't really gotten into, but I've downloaded them. Uh, VSCO, Lightroom, Snapseed, and I don't know how to say this one, it's M-E-I-T-U? I don't know, someone was telling me about it and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload that one. Anyway, so then here's my money category. So I have a bunch of different things. Um, I have like job stuff and things like that in here. So I have like Wells Fargo, AD. ADP, which is like how I get my paychecks. So it's all like in there. Um, Etsy, it says sell on Etsy. So it's like the seller's hub kind of information there. PayPal, every dollar. I have Indeed jobs on here because I don't know. I just figured that's where I would put them. Uh, the hub is also something I use for my job as well. So, and then I have my gray cat like gray and white category, and then I go into like kind of more my rainbow over here. So here's my gray and white category. Settings I use the most, um, then calendar, then this health thing. I really wish, um, ah, see, I don't use it. Um, I really wish that you could um, 
delete some of these, but there's some of them that you can't actually delete, unfortunately, which is like kind of a bummer. I wish you were able to delete the things that can just stop taking up space on your iPhone, you know what I mean? For my red category, uh, Target is number one, clearly. And then I have Pinterest, Michaels, Overstock, JCPenney, CVS, and Yelp. And then my pink category, I have Tinder. You can stop the comments already. <laughs> And then I also have Ibotta, which I haven't used in years, but I still have it on my phone. As for my orange category, I have Facebook page, which actually allows me to read your guys' messages off of my favorite daughter Emily page, if that makes sense. Um, I have like regular Etsy, Shutterfly, Hobby Lobby, White Noise, and Parcel. And I was really into Parcel for a long time, and I just kind of stopped using it. So, I don't know, I still have it, but... I don't know. And then white noise. This is a great app to have if you need white noise in your life. And for some reason, if your sound machine just completely craps out on you or you're traveling and you forget it, um, you know, you can use it. So that's what I use that for every once in a great while. Like I, I haven't used that in years. Um, Hobby Lobby is Hobby Lobby. I just use it for the coupons and Shutterfly. Y'all know probably what Shutterfly is. So there you go. All right. So into my yellow category, I have my notes, Snapchat, uh, Bumble is like a dating thing that I don't really use often, but it's there. And then find friends. Into the green, I have my weather bug that I use all the time. I use it basically every day to just, you know, see what I need to wear and the outsides. Uh, FaceTime, Bitmoji, uh, WhatsApp, uh, Joann's, uh, spin it to when it is actually like Kirkland's, I want to say. I haven't used that in a long time. I haven't been to a Kirkland's in a long time. And then Kohl's and then find my phone. The reason I have like some shopping things on here is because sometimes there's like exclusive coupons. And if it's a store that I shop at, not super regularly, but regularly enough, I want to have it on my phone rather than trying to install it in the store to get like 20% off or something. And then here is my blue category. My blue category has quite a few. So Facebook, I probably use the most out of this. Um, then Messenger. Twitter, I don't really use Twitter that much. I put like video links on there. My Twitter is below if you guys want to follow it, but I'm not like really active on it too much. But I do put my video links in there. I am on LinkedIn. I love Zillow, even though I am a homeowner, but I love looking at like homes and home prices and all this that kind of fun stuff. Uh, flashlight kind of random, but I need a flashlight once in a while on my phone. Uh, PDF, or PDF, wow, not PDF, POF, which is plenty of fish, another dating app that I don't really use. I don't really use my dating app, you guys. Like, I don't know. Is there a good dating app out there that's not like full of creepers with like really horrible, like grainy photos? If there is, like, let me know down below. <laughs> um, anyway, maybe I, maybe it's like a user problem. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I don't know. Um, my repost app, I haven't used that in years. Periscope, haven't used that in years either. And then over here, oh, I should kind of move these around a little bit. Um, then I've got Amazon, which I use all the time. Ikea, I use, I've been using quite a bit. Uh, the App Store, which obviously you use a little bit. Um, Easy Calendar, I really don't use that too often. Uh, Travelocity, Google Earth, and then Azulily, which is a, you know, store thing, like an online store. And then we've got our purple, which I have Instagram, which I use all the time. Podcasts I use pretty much every day. Pandora uh, is like a music thing. I use that almost all the, like almost daily. And um, then I have my iTunes store. Mm, I don't use it too often. Wayfair, another store. Uh, Retail Me Not is like a coupon thing. And then this Go Wild Austin, Texas, I still have on my phone. I'm not sure if that's what they're going to be using for next year. I'm assuming not, but I don't really know. I figured whatever, I'll put it in that category. And then my black category, I have Netflix, which I use so much as well as my calculator, which I love. Uh, Uber, I don't use it too often, but it's in there. I also have a tip calculator, which actually comes in like really handy. Oh, get out of here. So you can put in like, say your bill was $50 and you want to tip like a certain percent. It's like already at 15%, but say you want to do like, there we go. Oh, 20. Oh gosh, I can't see when I'm doing this. So you want to do 20%. It'll tell you like what the tip is and like what your total should be. And then you can like do a split to like split it eight ways or nine ways or whatever. And it'll tell you like how much everybody has, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So yeah. And then the league is also another dating app that 
someone was telling me about and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna download it and like, I don't know. It's probably in my area though. Like it just like really sucks. So <laughs> anyways, and then a compass um, that came with the iPhone, whatever. And then this is my rainbow folder and this has just things that are like rainbow in my apps so i have photos which i use quite a bit my google home i use quite a bit because my tv that i have in my living room i don't have another tv like i don't like tvs in the bedroom it's just like not my speed but the tv that i have in my living room is um quite old like i think i got it maybe like seven or eight years ago now it was quite a long time ago and it's not one of the smart tvs that already has like kind of Wi-Fi capabilities already. So I did get like a Google Home. It's like a little stick. You put it on the um, back of your television. So then I can either stream YouTube or I can stream Netflix and things like that. So that's how I do that. So I do use that quite a bit when I want to watch it on my regular television and not just like on my laptop or on my phone. Um, eBay, I don't use hardly ever, very rarely. And then wallet, I don't use that. So um, yeah, and then down at the bottom, I have my phone, my mail, and then I have like Safari, like my internet, and then I have my iTunes music, which to be honest, I should probably move this. Hold on, I'm gonna move it into my purple category over here. Boop, um, let's go right here. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, let's do it that way, because I don't really use my iTunes. I mean, I use it, but I don't use it that often to like have it down there on the bottom. So anyway, well, we got to clean up some stuff together now, didn't we? So like I said before, I really love this new rainbow kind of system. Obviously I'm taking the colors that are off of the app. So it's taking me a minute to just kind of retrain my brain as to where all the apps are, but it's going pretty good. And I really, really like this new system. It just looks so much cleaner and I really, really like that. And then my three categories up at the top, the YouTube photography and like money stuff. I couldn't really like separate that in my brain. So I'm just leaving that there. And then clearly those four apps at the top are just kind of more of a daily occurrence, if not more than daily occurrence that I check them all the time. That's why those do not fit into a category for me. So I wanna know down in the comments below, how do you guys organize your phone apps? I'm not versed at all in the Androids at all, so I'm not sure how those apps work, but I would assume it's kind of similar to an iPhone, but I really don't know. But if y'all have an iPhone or an Android and you organize your apps in a certain way, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be really curious to know how you organize yours. Um, I actually had someone comment that they do theirs alphabetically, and I thought that was really a cool idea as well. So that's gonna be it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to post them down below. And if y'all have any good tips on dating apps let me know in the comments okay but i hope you all are having a wonderful day make sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it also feel free to subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye guys well folks it's time to kick it old school uh, so you can feel cool <laughs> give it to me baby <laughs> baby <laughs> yeah